what is going on guys welcome back to the channel let's make it a little bit quicker today um been running around and on a time crunch so uh, let's talk about trka uh, not financial advice just for entertainment purposes you guys know that make your own decisions so looking at today i mean nice day right we had a pretty decent run what 22 25 percent and it still continued to hold at least uh, 15 percent or so of that towards the end of the day so um, not as much profit taking as you would probably expect whenever you see a run like that um, you know there's going to be some which was towards the end of the day uh, every time you know I, I thought we were going to get rejected down here at the start of the day it, it got that hard rejection double bottomed and just came back with a vengeance so that was good to see nice run up um our box here is still acting as pretty decent support for us riding right at the top of our line so i like to see that and we know that there's a heavy amount of supply up in this channel from 25 to about 28 cents uh, so we need to get that break through there i think eventually uh, we'll be able to wear down whoever continues to sell up the mass amounts, whether it's shorts that come in or if it has anything to do with the warrants. Uh, whatever that supply is there, it is real. And um, at least we're holding up and being able to go back and test it time and again. Um, right now I'm looking at probably a bull flag formation, so I do hope that you know we'll, we'll be able to break to the upside in this. Um, Again, we're getting tighter and tighter as far as where the movement can be without breaking through this massive supply. Um, I'm kind of watching, I mean, this trend line. It's not too, it's not great, but it's something to work with. We got, a, you know, one, two, three touches in here. So I'm just using it for now just to see kind of how this all plays out right at the peak. Um, that's coming in tomorrow, actually, by the time we'll see if it goes all the way there but if this is a bull flag then you know we'll probably bounce and then hopefully push our way to the upside which is going to be bringing us closer into breaking through that supply um, i did pull a fib just off of our last run level i thought i did anyway um yeah so i kind of want to see still i guess if we can get back above that 30 I think we're looking okay uh, again at 28 we get a little bit of a gap on the volume profile at 30 and a half we get a little gap so uh, might be easier to move once we get above there it's just going to be difficult to break through and we're still trying um, it was nice to see the RSI kind of get a little bit warmer than what we have been seeing I mean it just kind of I'd like to think it was accumulation to the downside, you know, and hopefully at this point we can start making our trend back up. We got all kinds of ugly patterns that we could try to make sense of, but I'm just watching the flag right now, see if we can break to the upside. So the, I guess if you had a trading plan before and you didn't like where you were when we were down here, you get second chances to, um, you know, keep an eye on it. I hope that this is a trend reversal. I hope that it continues. Tomorrow we have quad witching, usually a non-event, um, but you never know what would happen there. Also keep in mind that the entire, I mean, at least the indexes were pumping today. So that gave us some relief and allowed things to move so let's keep an eye on the overall markets because next week we know i think we have the minutes for fomc that'll be coming out mid of next week and we'll see if that's good or bad for the markets you never know um which way they're going to take it but we will see what next week brings as well so just something to be watching for tomorrow see how the markets continue to respond in a overall fashion and let's see how trka continues to move as we work our way through this bull flag i think it will break out and up we just got to get through that supply <clears throat> the ortex is still inaccurate but it says we're still on the threshold list cost to borrow average went up a little bit 
117.79 and it is saying that there was a slight increase as far as shorts went so maybe we did have some more that came back into the play that's okay with me if they want to come back in you know we'll hopefully it's some of them that are fighting this level and maybe we could see some of them change their mind if we can successfully get up and through here um, could be a little bit of a game changer you know I'm not saying all of them are going to cover but I think some might want to cover to look for a better average of where they want to try to attack again in the future but Let's keep an eye on it. I hope you guys had a good day in the markets. Absolutely insane. If you were playing calls on the SPY, they were printing. Um, so, you know, don't fight the trend. Trend is your friend. It's all there is to it, really. Um, if you're wrong, just admit you're wrong and flip. No sense in being a perma bull. No sense in being a perma bear. Just play what the market gives you. All right, guys, I will catch you in the next one. I hope you have a good evening. As always, stay golden, people, and may your accounts stay green.